You've heard of age-old questions. Well, this is a new age question. iPhone versus Droid. Well, today in Gadget Corner, we're going to take a look at which one is better for what specific reason. And for that, we are joined with Jeff Lyons, who is with MyPhone MD. Jeff, the first question is, really, what's the difference between these two? Well, entering the holiday season, the top of everyone's wish list, you could check uh, online. All the gadget sites are ablaze with the fact that people want smartphones. And so the options you need to look at aren't necessarily manufacturer, not necessarily carrier. They are operating system. And today we've brought some devices that run iOS and also some that run uh, Google's Android. Okay, so there's two different operating systems. There's iOS, which means... Uh, iPhone. Correct. And then there's Android, which is Droid. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, there's some other players. Uh, you know, two years ago, we would have been talking about BlackBerry. Unfortunately, they've sort of fallen off the map into a black hole, so to speak. <laughs> Secondarily, Windows Phone 7 is making a great push. Some Nokia devices are coming out that are running it. Initial reviews are great. But really, this season, it's going to be iPhone versus Android. Okay. And so some of the differences that we could discuss today... Uh, Revolve around things like battery life, things like display size, things like uh, display quality, and of course the uh, app ecosystem. Okay, so let's start with one. Tell me the pros of an iPhone. The pros on the iPhone is, is simply this. You're going to get the slickest user interface available. Um, Android has matured, but the bottom line is that the iOS interface in its uh, many uh, iterations across iPad, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, is the slickest, without a doubt, most responsive user interface ever on a phone, and there's no arguing the point. S go ahead. What's the con with an iPhone? The con with the iPhone is that it is a very closed system. For some of the, min some of the reasons that I've discussed why the uh, experience is so great, it's because they control tightly every aspect of the operating system. Android is a bit more open. It's powered uh, by Google's technology and there's much more room for you to customize and do some more interesting things with it. So there's your pro with the Droid, is you can do more with it, it's more customizable, but what's a con for the Droid? A con on the Droid is going to be fragmentation, okay? Apple manufactures the hardware, they manufacture the software. The Android software now has massive market share, but it's across literally hundreds of devices. We can hardly keep up in my phone and because they're launching something new every two weeks running that operating system. Okay, so if you had to if you had to pick, I mean, would you say one is better than the other or would you simply say they're different? I think it's a matter of preference. Uh, personally, if I'm going to put a phone in the hand of my grandmother or if I'm going to give one to uh, my son, I'm going to go with something iOS. Literally, uh, my three-year-old can pick it up within five minutes with no instruction <laughs> to be playing Angry Birds. Right. Uh, however, if I'm going to be going with somebody who's a little more tech-oriented, who's into maybe the open source software, movement or wants the ability to customize indefinitely, Android's going to be the best decision. All right, now, wh where does the difference in price compare? Sure. Uh, it used to be that Apple was a rich man's game. Now, that has changed for the first time. You can now get a 3GS, which is a two-year-old model, but for 99 cents. It still runs the most current iOS 5 mm -hmm. and still gives you a, a really great experience unless you're doing some of the newer high-end uh, applications. Android's the same thing. They have, they have devices on Android so cheap they'll practically give them to you. And when people are getting these uh, smartphones, of course, they're thinking about apps. Sure. Is, is one app store better than the other app store? Uh, does one cost money, one doesn't cost money? Sure. What's the difference? Well, there's going to be free apps, there's going to be paid apps across the board. The developers all gravitate to iOS first. You know, uh, Google's executives say that's going to change hmm. with the ice cream sandwich operating system that's coming out on the newest Android devices. But um, when it comes to applications, Apple has over 500,000 available. Google's catching up, but for the same reasons I quoted in terms of openness and closed systems, Apple vets every app very, very, very strongly. And with Android, just this week, we've seen 15 instances of apps carrying malware. All right, so you say you like the iPhone better, but really, it, it kind of depends on preference there. So thank you so much for sure. joining us uh, today, and we will be right back after this.